Hello everyone, it's Marie here from Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to make a card, but today I'm going to be concentrating on a card front. Um, I'm going to leave, uh, I've just got an A6 uh, piece of basic white Stampin' Up! cardstock. I really actually like working with it. And um, this is just a scrap piece that I have. Um, and so what I will do is at a later date is I'm going to attach it onto a card base. I may use a white card base in the future or a coloured base that looks similar to what's on the card and I haven't decided yet. But what I'm going to be using are some Distress Oxide. Um, the colours I'm using are Squeeze, Le Squeeze Lemonade, Shaded Lilac, Tumble Glass, Kitsch Flamingo, Hickory Smoke and Black Soot. I'm using some beautiful Lavinia stamps that I've received from a beautiful crafty friend of mine. I'll be using these beautiful um, dandelions. Love these. Perfect. I'm using this gorgeous um, stamp. It's just a floral type stamp and it's called Lilium. Absolutely beautiful. I'm using another Lavinia stamps, Small Lily Flourish. Okay, and I'm using an old close to my heart stamp set it's called universal black backgrounds and it's called flare um, this was around eons ago i got this many more than i'd say 10 years ago now and i just love the scripty font of this and i like the size and i think it'll be perfect for my card so i'm going to be using that i've also made my own stencil and i used um the plastic dividers that you put in your folders um, to cut the material out and I used my silhouette to cut that out. It's actually quite thin but it is very sturdy nonetheless and it's perfect for being able to um, you know wash reuse it again and again and it's actually quite sturdy it will not fall apart on you. Uh, I'm using that today and this is a hand um, a, an image I found on Creative Fabrica. So I'm using that. If you want a video to show you how to make your own stencils using the silhouette, let me know and you can apply the similar principles with the Cricut as well. So that's what I'm doing today. And I'm also using the My Favourite Things Grassy Edges stencil. I'm using the one that looks more like a heel, so I'll be using that one today. So we'll get started. I'm going to use my craft mat. This is basically a, a Teflon sheet. This is one, this one is from Ranger, but you can buy these um, inexpensively as well. Just Teflon mats, you can buy them in any crafting store and uh, they're quite inexpensive. I have another couple that I use, not from this brand, but just a generic, I think it's Universal Crafts, have the other brands too, just cheap ones you can find off Amazon. And um, basically you can um, purchase those inexpensively and use those with your heat presses as well if you're into that. So what I'll be using right now is I'm going to go through my colors I'm going to start off with my yellow. These are the Nouveau um, blending brushes. These are the large, I think, blending, blending brushes. It comes in this packet here, large blending brush. I quite like these. I have one for each color for my Distress Oxides. And that is what I use. So this is Squeeze Lemonade. And I'm just going to get some color onto my brush. I'm going to tap off. And I'm just going to work so that there is like it'll be like an oval over here so I'm just going to start from like this very lightly and just just lay on some colors I want it to look kind of organic and not very structured so I'm just going to be blending that just quietly and just blend that going to move on to my tumbled glass next but I will be cleaning my mat in between all of that so tumbled glass is next I just want it to be subtle And 
it doesn't have to be perfect. The blending can be, you know, kind of just enough to lay down colours. I'm not sure if I've got enough colour on this. Yes, I do. I want it to be kind of light and happy looking and um, kind of shadowy at the same time. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what I want to achieve. And what I'd like to do is just clean my mat in between the colours so they don't contaminate together. So my next colour is going to be, I'm thinking maybe the Kitsch Flamingo. I was going to get the um, shaded lilac, but I thought I'll go with the Kitsch Flamingo. Okay, and just lay down the colour. And as I said, it doesn't have to be precise, but I kind of want it to look, you know, kind of organic looking. And I really didn't have a clue as to how exactly I wanted this to look. I'm just laying down the colours. And these blending brushes are great in laying down the colours. And I will probably go backwards and forwards with this, just so you know, to lay down the colours. And I will probably go back now to the um, tumbled glass and lay down a bit more blue. That'll be the pink for a little bit. Just get stuck into it. And just have fun with the process. Colours are like they're kind of mixing together, that's perfectly fine. I think it looks great that way. I'll show you up close how it is so far. Isn't it beautiful? Just something different. Okay, I think it's good to lay that was a good blue. I'll just see if I can lay down a little bit more from the brush. That looks nice. Clean in between. Now, if you're hearing some kind of a background noise, that is my aircon, so I apologize for that noise, but it is too hot for me not to have it on, so I apologize for that. So, it's a pretty dark purple I use with that, but now I'm going to use the shaded lilac and go for it now. And I will go back with the pink. I want there to be a bit more pink. blue there's a little bit of backwards and forwards with this until you get it to the colors that you like go back to the blue tumble glass again from distress oxides love them it's 
it's a very subtle blue but it's actually quite beautiful and what I love about oxides is you can also go over the top of the darker colors too it just gives a really nice look I like that this is just for something different um, and then I'll add a little bit more yellow now go back to the yellow brightened up that area looks really nice and you can take it above there to just kind of make the colors all kind of meld together and I love distress oxides because you can go over the top as I said of darker colors it just gives an interesting look so that's it so far I think it's lovely okay that bit up and now I'm going to get my hickory smoke and I'm going to use that along the outside to darken it up a little bit And it kind of makes it look like a night sky but it's still bright enough for other colors to come through and I think it looks beautiful okay I'm gonna keep this out because I'm gonna go then to black soot and what I want to do with that is start my stenciling I'm going to use my my favorite things grassy edges stencil and I'm going to use the hill part to see that down here and I'm just going to add some grass on the bottom keep that still and just go for it just color that like so and what I like about this black soot is it covers up the other oxide colors so now I'm just going to take that off and look at that isn't that beautiful love the way that turned out I'll just close up the the packet there for a minute the ink pad And then what I'm going to do is grab one of these dandelion images. I'll just clean this off as well because I don't want to, I don't need to use it again, so I better clean it off before I pick it up and it's all dirty. Oops. Okay. So I'm going to pick that up along with my stencil of the rabbit now this rabbit's a bit big but that's okay I'm going to pick up that rabbit and then I'm going to use one of these dandelion images and I'm thinking of using this one here because I think it's quite beautiful and I will grab for this I'm going to grab my um, the first time I'm using this stamp I'm going to put this up here and I'm going to put the rabbit down here on the side I think it'll look beautiful okay so what I'll do is I will grab my get rid of my thing there 
and I'll just grab my um, stamping tool. So I'm going to use the Stamparatus to do this. Isn't that cute? You can use that as a mask. So just to add that over here. Add that dandelion in the middle. And I'm going to use the black soot distress oxide to stamp with. And I've just got it all over my fingers, so I'm just going to wipe it off onto my sheet there. Now I want to make sure this is quite um, dark. Oh, that stamps beautifully. So this is the first time I'm using this stamp. And I think that's stamped perfectly. So I'll clean that off. Cleans nicely too, very easy. So if you've never worked with Lavinia stamps, they're actually quite really good quality. So thank you, Connie. These are absolutely beautiful if you're watching. I love them. Really nice. I'll let that dry off. I may bring this back. I haven't decided, but I will put it to the side. And then what I'm going to do is grab a block. I'm going to start stamping this Lilium one. I'm going for a kind of a vintage sort of a look with this. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. It'll, I'm going to surprise myself with this because it's not my usual style. But I've seen lots of beautiful... Um, inspirational kind of videos and they're fun to watch the process that's not wide enough so what I'm going to do is I'm just only going to use the flower part so I'm not going to worry about that part so again I'm going to actually use hickory smoke ink that up And I'm just going to just step very lightly on the side like that kind of give it a you know a vintage sort of a look and I'll go heavy up the top for this time and I'll go like that like that and like that like that I think that looks nice I'm not sure how this is going to turn out because I didn't really plan it out, but we'll see. I'll take that off. Put this on here. Let that dry off. And then I'm going to get my little Lilium one. The sorry, the little the small Lily Flourish stamp. It's actually a very small stamp. It is so cute. Look how tiny it is. Put that on here. And for that, I'm going to use black sort, but I'm only going to ink up just the leaves part. And then I'll just go like that. Like that. Like that. And then up there that looks really nice just as like a border uh, like so doesn't have to make sense this looks pretty and go up and down and up again and then here that looks really pretty on the sides doesn't it I love that okay 
that was with black soot. I'm going to clean that off. Clean this off too. And put this back on here. Okay, and then we'll put that to the side for it to dry off. And now I'm going to grab one of these close to my heart stamps and this is the scripty one. I'm going to grab that. And it fits perfectly with this um, block. I'm going to use Hickory Smoke. Now, this is going to be, have that the right way up, <laughs> a random -y kind of stamp. So I'm just going to go up there, take it off a couple of times and go down there, maybe here on the side. Did that come through? No. Like that. And up like that. I think it looks really nice with the script and then all of that on the side. I think that turned out really lovely. And that's it with the stamping now. Um, the only thing I have left to do is to use my rabbit stencil. And this is a homemade stencil, so that's what makes it look, you know, really cool. Is that you can make as many of these as you like and best of all you can make them any size as you like so this is from creative fabric if you're interested in this image I will link it in the description box below if you're interested to know how I actually made the stencil and this can also be applied when you're using a Cricut machine let me know and I'll be more than happy to um, to uh, help you out with that just let me know all right now I want the rabbit to be looking up at the dandelion there so I'm not going to use this particular brush but I will use one of my other brushes so I can target actually I will use this one why not I'm going to use black soot to do that I'm going to go a little bit heavy on the color and then I'll just go like so Go really heavy shouldn't have moved that <laughs> but I was dying to see how it looked now I have to get this precisely back in its spot I think that will do. And in, in a funny way, it looks like there's a, a kind of light shining in. Now I stuffed that up, you see that line and that line. I'm going to try and blend that out. So I'll um, just clean for a minute. Ok, 
Okay, so I'll just go back to my yellow. I'm gonna go with my squeeze lemonade and try and blend that out if I can. And uh, don't know if I thought that through very well. Give it a bit of a smear, I think, just to make it look like it's done on purpose. With my finger, and that seems to blend that out quite nicely. <laughs> if in doubt, use your finger when you've got um, distress oxides, and maybe even dip your finger in the ink, dip it off. And just try and blend that colour out. See if that works out. I'm just using my pinky to lighten that up. I think that looks good. Okay, so what I might have to do with this now is I will add a, a, just a little bit more script um, just kind of a bit more just do it like down there hmm. add the bottom half go maybe like that yep that kind of makes it disguises it a bit <laughs> And I use black soot for that. So isn't that cool how that turned out? So I'll just clean this up and then I'll be finishing up. All right. So that is my finished card front. Don't you just love it? I think it is so cute. So for anyone that likes the artistic look, this is great. And these beautiful stamps from Lavinia Stamps, I'll just grab them all um, so you can see them. Highly versatile, you can use them on their own or you can use them as part of like a collage looking type of um, thing. I think they're beautiful. I love the dandelions, just gorgeous. And, you know, use your old stamp sets from even close to my heart, stamping up whatever you want. And combine all these images together but I loved how this turned out it is so cute I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial if you have any questions please let me know also if you'd like to see how to make a stencil with your silhouette cameo let me know in the comments below and I'll make the video next if you wish um, and yeah and then next time we'll see what other fun craft we can come up with thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you again next time bye for now